Okay guys, there's a view of Echo Lake beside me. I'm back on the trail finally. And it was an ordeal, an ordeal to get back on the trail. I'm not gonna go through all the details, but it was nasty getting back on. Uh, so I took a couple more days in um, Lake Tahoe than I should have. Uh, took, uh, stayed the fourth, the fifth, and today the sixth, about noonish. Right now I'm a shot under uh, 1,100 miles, and I'm gonna have a short day. Then two full days, gonna pick up my package in Truckee. Probably not gonna stay there. Gotta go get the miles and get back on the trail. And I know this may be a bit aggressive, but maybe my next zero is not until Chester, which is a substantial hike from here. Anyway, there's a view. Enough of the logistics. Be good to you. 1,100 miles. Uh, and this offers that one of the better views. Be good to you. Okay, God, there's there's my campsite. I had a, a very short day today. Only only hiked 10 miles. Uh, it was not in the mood to hike today. I was exhausted. The uh, Lake Tahoe, I did not sleep well for two nights in a, in a row. And so I'm gonna cut it short today, get a good night's sleep, cause I know I will sleep well out here. And then uh, tomorrow is at least a 20 mile day. And then the following day is another, at the minimum, a 20 mile day. That would make me a short day on the third day in to Truckee. I'm gonna hit Truckee, pick up my new tent, so this one's going away, and um, probably hit the trail again. When I, when I take a zero in Truckee, I gotta get some miles. Um, I gotta get some miles, with the exception of today. As always, as always, be good to you. Hey, good morning. Uh, yesterday, as you know, I had a short day. Today is going to be much longer, at least twice as long. So today I'm going at least 20 miles and I'm going to hike till seven o'clock. So it's 12 hours of hiking. Um, we're going to see what we, what we can do. Uh, it's complicated because right off the bat, I have like an 1800 foot climb. And I'm about halfway up. Get starting, starting to get views, so that's a good thing. So uh, today's a long day, and I'll let you know how it goes. Be good to you. I'm about to say goodbye to another pass. I camped. Let me get, get my pointer out here. My, I camped right there on that lake. Anyway, be good to you. And this is the next valley. I crested the uh, pass. It looks a lot like <laughs> the last valley, except since we're facing uh, northward, we're seeing the south side of the mountains. It's a lot less snow. Be good to you. And that's it. Desolation wilderness. No bear cans needed from this point forward. Yeah, be good to you. Okay, we ran it into a problem in the form of a fire. Uh, there's a fire west of the PCT, um, about six or seven miles off trail, and they have a mandatory evacuation that, that, that goes within 100 feet of the trail. Uh, and that's today. So, um, what we don't want to do is get up tomorrow morning, camp and get up tomorrow morning and hike on. And that fire has completely overwhelmed the trail and the trail is actually closed. So to play it safe, we're going to bypass the fire. Um, gonna go about four more miles and camp. And we're gonna get off on Barker Road and head east to Tahoe City, to civilization, um, and bypass the fire. 
Uh, it's been a, it's been, if it's not one thing, it's been another. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Now I gotta deal with the fire. So, but we, we have a plan. We're not gonna get near it. We're gonna bypass it. Uh, we're, we're playing it safe. As always, be good to you. Good morning, guys. I'm at the top of uh, Castle Pass. These passes are nothing like the Sierra. You don't have to uh, plan for them. You just go up them, go down them, do another one. There's no limitation on the mileage at all. So these passes are getting a lot easier. Um, I have a lot of information to uh, to share. Uh, just south of Truckee, there was a, a, a fire and uh, most hikers took the uh, recommendation to bypass the, the fire. The, the trail was not officially closed. Took the, re the recommendation and I went to a trailhead and there was a nice day hiker who uh, gave us a ride off the trail and bypassed the fire. So um, she took us to Truckee. So I stayed uh, the night at Truckee. I was shopping for food and another trail angel saw me and offered his home. And this person is called Freeloader. Don't know why his name is Freeloader. That's his trail name. Uh, so I had a Nero yesterday. And he was kind enough to uh, offer his home and cook me a great meal. So that's a big thanks to uh, Freeloader. So I had a Nero yesterday again. And uh, today I'm back on the trail. Um, again at Castle Pass which is just north of Interstate 80 or Highway 80. Today, it's a lot of information, I know, I'm sorry. Today, it's going to be at least a 20 mile day. I, don't have no, I have no set mileage for today, but it's going to be a lot. And that will set me up for Sierra City the following day. So from Highway 80 to Sierra City is 40 miles. So I would do a lot of miles today. And then there's someone up on that mountain. Do a lot of miles today and a short, shortish miles to get into Sierra City. As always, be good to you. Off in the distance, you can see a little bit of that haze out there. Um, I'm about 10 miles of, 10 miles north of uh, Truckee. And I highly suspect that's from that fire. Anyway, be good to you. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to this valley and the town of Truckee. I came uh, around that mountain, down that valley and up. The mountains have a lot less snow now. And I'm uh, officially about to go from the Sierra to the Cascades, even though Kenny Meadows North was the end of the hard Sierra, the extreme Sierra. And there you go. So far, I've hiked about 10 miles. And there's no set mileage today. I just got to get over 20. Be good to you. Hey guys, I'm transitioning from the Sierra Nevada mountains to the Cascade Mountains. And the biggest difference that I can see, one is they're easier for right now. Two is the water. In the Sierra, you could hike until you were drained of water and you were always a mile or two from water. So water was no concern. You didn't have to look at the map for water or even consider uh, water sources. Here, I got a lesson a couple of days ago and I almost did it again. Um, there's a water source about two miles from here. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, filter my water there. And then the next source isn't for 10 miles. So if you're just going, just passing water sources and you go uh, a mile past that next water source, 
you have nine miles of, of hiking till you get to the next one. So uh, now I have to uh, pay attention to the map a little bit more when dealing with water. Um, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I prefer less water because it's less mosquitoes. But um, it's something that's different, as always. As always, be good to you. There's the hikers going over the ridge. There's two right there. And there's a couple behind that tree right here. There they are. We just had trail magic. And I guess they're fired up now. <laughs> uh, be good to you. I got my camera zoomed in a bit. I should know. I should know it. Good morning. Yesterday I hiked uh, 22 miles. It's a good day. That's going to be my default mileage from uh, here on out. Uh, and today is on tap is I got 16 miles to Sierra City. And at Sierra City is a huge huge burrito and a, and a cold drink uh so i can't wait to that that's uh about eight hours away and uh i'm gonna hit sierra city eat recharge and then head on out because like i said before it is 20 miles or more from here on out uh if the train and layout permits let's put that caveat in there and there's the view this morning. I'm right out of camp. I got puffy face. <laughs> I gotta get going. It's about 6.20. About the normal time that I get out. So, um, yesterday was amazing. The uh, uh, To get those 20, 22, 23 mile days, I gotta hike most of the day. Thus, I hike deep in the afternoon. And that's my favorite time to hike. It, it, it was amazing. It was amazing going to camp. I actually, I didn't want to stop. One of the few times I wanted to continue hiking. Anyway, I'm going to go eat, go hike to a burrito and a large Coke. Be good to you. Seven miles, seven miles to a nice cold Diet Coke. And I'm entering the Cascade Mountain Range. Let me fix my hat. Well, I'm entering the Cascade Mountain Range, and oddly, it's drier, but more trees. I don't get it. Be good to you. Okay, I made it to Sierra City. This is my reward. <laughs> As always, be good to you. This is a little bonus footage. Um, I decided to head out of Sierra City and just hike a few miles up the trail. And look at that valley. I just adore hiking in the late afternoon. swing your back the trail goes along this open face in the morning time or in the afternoon this would be blazing hot the sun would be uh, heating these rocks up and it would be miserable currently there's a heat wave but right now it is nice and cool and shaded and I just like it right now <laughs> about one o'clock I didn't like it one o'clock this afternoon I hated being out here but now different story be good to you 
I'm on the side of a steep mountain, so there is no marker. However, this exact spot, what I'm, the spot I'm standing on, marks 1,200 miles on the PCT. Be good to you. Hello, um, uh, the PCT that I'm on goes around here and goes around there, but there's a trail up there. You see it right at the end of that top trekking pole. You see that trail? Let me pan up a little bit. That's the trail of our ancestors back in the day that used to be the PCT. And in the 80s, I used to hike that and hike up there. Now, today, it's just a spur. <sighs> yep, the trail of our ancestors. Be good to you. Man, I'm not the only crazy person hiking late in the afternoon and <laughs> gambling on a campsite. A hiker right behind me in there about ready to turn that switch back look at the valley oh, man. be good to you now this this right here is how you enter the cascades yep As always, as always, be good to you.